Small Business Development Deputy Minister Debuo Peters has been suspended without pay for one term for breaching the code of ethical conduct in her former portfolios as Minister of Transport. Of course, this is our breaking news story. Now, this is uh, after the hashtag Unite Behind leader and activist Zahi Ahmad lodged the complaint uh, containing several allegations to further understand the allegations. We are now joined by teams by the man himself, uh, Mr. Zahi Ahmad. So thank you so much uh, for your time. Perhaps let's get your reaction and uh, as you do, just elaborate on the specific allegations uh, that you in fact made against Deputy Minister uh, Dipuo Peters, who was the, of course, uh, the former transport minister. Um, Nati, thanks very much for having me on the show. The importance is you mentioned how gunmen can run around and be brazen about killing people. And that is because there is no consequences. No one is detected, no one is uh, held, no one is charged, no one is convicted for many, many crimes in our country and none more so than the political ones, the ones that involve corruption, state capture and so on. We wrote to President Ramaphosa on the 6th of February this year to demand that he suspend, uh, uh, that he sack uh, Deputy Minister Dipur Peters because there have been numerous findings, not allegations, findings that she has facilitated state capture, that she has herself acted improperly by ensuring that Prasa pays for ANC buses, that she has been complicit in not recovering money that was paid into the ANC bank accounts through corruption of the Sripambo toll locomotives um, uh, contract. Um, and we believe that a month, a month without pay after the commission, uh, the State Capture Commission recommend not, uh, 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 recommended to the president that Prasa should reclaim at least 1.3 million from her and that she shouldn't, uh, she shouldn't have been minister because she interfered with the Molefe board in order to allow state capture to continue and in order to stop investigations. Now, I think this is such a small step forward that we should all be happy about it. But in truth, it is not justice. It mm. is a slap on the wrist for someone who is responsible partly responsible for the destruction of railways in our country, of commuter rail services. It is someone who has contributed to the fact that people can't put food on the table because they're spending more money on taxis, on buses, and even on Ubers to get from one place to the other. So we wrote to President Ramaphosa, and it's clear that he realized that he had to do something. But what he has done is actually unacceptable in the sense that it does not go to the root of the course. He has not recommended that the SIU or the Hawks should investigate this. He hasn't sacked her. We ask that he ensures that she should not remain a minister or not be redeployed anywhere. He has two capacities. We also wrote to the ANC Ethics Committee and we haven't even had an acknowledgement from uh, Reverend Frank Chikani for our complaint. So there are many things that went wrong. Yeah. This is a very small step. Yeah, and, and Ms. Ahmed, I think you touched on a number of issues. One of the things that I wanted to ask you was, you know, do you think that this is a sanction that warrants what, you know, she is being accused of or found guilty of, rather? Uh, and also, you know, the broader implications of just some of the actions um, that she has been found um, guilty of in terms of ac accountability, in terms of ethical conduct within government itself. Well... Let's be, let's be quite clear about it. Our parliament protects and promotes corrupt MPs and MPs who facilitate the state capture. We haven't seen action on Sifisa Bidelezi. We haven't seen action on Dikeledi Magatsi, who's resigned, but parliament had to take action. We now in court against parliament, because if you or I lay a complaint against an MP, if you or I lay a complaint against an MP, the, the, the... 
Unfortunately, we lost uh, Mr. Ahmed there, but uh, we get the, the, the gist of his reaction, of course, uh, you know, reacting there uh, about the developments that we've just uh, been breaking to you. Small Business Development uh, Deputy Minister Debo Peters uh, has been suspended uh, by President Cyril Ramaphosa without pay for one term for breaching the code of uh, ethical conduct in her former portfolio as a Minister of uh, Transport. Of course, we spoke to Zaki Ahmad from the United behind um, NGO and it was in fact uh, that NGO in, two, in, tw in, 2000, in 2022 rather sorry um, that they had called um, for her dismissal they also complained to the Joint Committee on Ethics and the members interest uh, and of course in uh, 2023 last year and around about October uh, uh, Parliament's Ethics Committee found the former you know Transport Minister guilty of breaching the MP's Code of Ethics for uh, uh, indiscretions committed while she was still the Minister of, of Transport. I mean, some of the failures that she's been accused of, of course, there is appointing a group uh, CEO for Prasa for about a year because uh, she felt at the time um, that she was not ready for one or that the company was not ready for one. Some of the complainants alleged that this was neglectful, you know, as um, her failure to act on the recommendations of the board at the time of APRASA to appoint a candidate resulted in the loss of over 1.7 million rands at the time. Uh, and that was uh, paid to uh, a recruitment company for that process. And of course, uh, the Zonda Commission and courts finding also her guilty uh, on certain elements of some of those matters that have been brought forward.